Hi everyone! So as you can see from the title, we're going to be swatching some Prodigal Sun's Pigments colors today. And I'm super excited because, I mean, look at the lineup today! We have Manganese Blue, PB33, Lapis Lazuli, Malachite, Gothite, and Quin Gold Genuine made with PO49. Before we begin, I'd love to give a big shout out to my special friend who sent these to me. Thank you so much! Now, if you haven't heard of Prodigal Sun's Pigments, they make some really unique handmade watercolors like these, so do check them out. I'll put their Instagram below so you can check them out. Now, I do have to say that I haven't researched any of these pigments in detail yet because I'm just... I really want to try swatching these out and see how I feel about them and like, oh my goodness, I'm so excited, especially the manganese blue! All right, let's begin, shall we? First up, we have manganese blue. Now, I'm not going to be picking these up because they're a bit sticky. Well, not all of them, but actually, I'll put it off to the side so you could possibly see. They seem to rewet really well, yes. Well, not they. Right now, it's just the one. But oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Do you guys see that? Oh, the granulation! Oh, oh my goodness! What is this magic? Whoa! Okay, I love my cerulean blue hues, but I mean, sorry. I love my cerulean blues made with PB35, like the warmer kind. But this. Oh my goodness, I wish I was there back whenever this was dis being discontinued. Otherwise, I would have really stocked up on this. That's so beautiful. Did you see the like immediate granulation effect? So beautiful. Okay, I should try packing on some more pigments for you guys to see. I think for this manganese blue, made with PB33, it's very similar to how Cerulean Blues would behave in that it's it's a blue, but I feel like it's just the tiniest bit more vibrant. And the granulation is just so beautiful. I'm sure like some brands of... I'm sure some Cerulean Blues in some brands are... well, can be just as granulating, but wow! Let me know if you want me to compare this to some other Cerulean Blues, maybe. That's so beautiful. Okay, next up we have Lapis Lazuli. Lapis? Lapis Lazuli. Ooh, again, this rewets pretty well. I think it might be a bit... You know what? I'm not mad about the pigment, like the saturation. I actually thought this would be a lot more low tinting for a lapis lazuli, although that might just be like other brands not being good, maybe? I don't know, I shouldn't say that, but... Okay, so that's the darkest it would go. Granulation, again, very apparent. Prodigal Sons know what they're doing. As for the hue, I feel like it's... You know those ultramarine blue you get in student grade sets? Where it's like the PB29 mixed with a white? I think that's what this looks similar to, but with that beautiful granulation. So it's sort of like a more diluted or less saturated ultramarine blue, I guess. I guess you can put it that way. You know what I think of when I see this lapis lazuli? I think of like, you know, those like pharaoh Egyptian art pieces somehow, like where the colors aren't super duper bright or vibrant, you know? I mean, obviously there are some vibrant pieces, but I don't know, if I could find a picture of what I'm having, what I'm imagining in my head, then I'll put it on screen. <laughs> okay, next up we have malachite. I don't think I'm very aware of malachite. Okay, so it looks to be a pale green. I wonder if it's low tinting. It seems to be. Yeah, it seems to be very low tinting. Hmm. 
Yep, I think that's that's as much as it would go. Very low tinting, but if someone told me this was like ground from a rock of some sort, and that's all the pigment they could get, then, you know, I think it's that's believable. I'd believe that because, yeah. It's as if someone ground a green, green and white rock. Although this is very transparent. Like, when you see this, when, when I saw it at least, I didn't think it would be transparent, but it's very transparent. Obviously in like the mass tone here, it could get pretty opaque because you have more of the pigment. But again, that granulation is coming through. Can you see that obvious granulation? Wow. If anyone has been like considering prodigal sons, I could really recommend them right now. Like beautiful. So far, I'm loving all these three. Okay. Next up we have Gothite, which I believe isn't like super special or anything or well, I'm not exactly sure. I don't know if they used um like the rock Gothite, the mineral. I don't know, but seems like other brands also sell Gothite with made with like PY43 I believe for example Daniel Smith and um Roman Small also has Gothite I believe Wow okay so this one rewets very well super saturated Oops don't want that bloom there Again granulation already coming through um, I wasn't a big fan of Daniel Smith's Gothite. Like, I do like Daniel Smith's Gothite, don't get me wrong, but like, I feel like between Daniel Smith's and Roman Smalls, I preferred Roman Smalls just because um, it had more of a contrast in the color of the granulation. But I feel like Prodigal Sons, this one, this one would be my favorite out of the three. If you'd like me to do a comparison, do let me know. But like, this one is just mm, so luscious. All right, the last one here is Quin Gold PO49, and this is the Genuine Quin Gold pigment. I'm not going to be picking up the pan for this one because it's a bit sticky. But yeah, let's take a look. Beautiful. Beautifully saturated bright glowy you know what somehow i prefer this one over the one um over night shades okay i'm sorry about that green i think that's probably from the malachite but yeah it, it was already on the paper before i swatched the quin gold on let's see if i could get it any darker oops okay it's a bit okay not too dark so it doesn't get too dark but that's the darkest it would go you know what? If this, well, I'm not if, but like this is the P049 Genuine Quin Gold pigment. I really like this one compared to when I swatched out the one by Nightshade. I'll leave a link below somewhere. But when I swatched that one out, I wasn't very wowed by it. But with this one, I can definitely, definitely understand why people were, you know, buying and stocking up on it. The glow, the vibrancy, it's not too orange, you know. All right, we'll wait for these to dry and then I'll be right back. But so far, I am loving all of them. All right, I'm back. The swatches have all completely dried. And I gotta say, I am so, so impressed with Prodigal Sun's pigments. Now, before I get into how each of them are special, I feel the need to tell some of you out there who really, really want these but might not be able to get them, don't worry because for each one of these, for example, this manganese blue, you could easily use a warm cerulean blue like a PB35. I recommend Holbein. It looks very similar to this one, so it's not like anything super special out there, you know what I mean? And for a lapis lazuli, it's just like a warm ultramarine blue, basically an ultramarine blue that leans to the red side, and just it's just more diluted, basically. 
and I'm going to skip Malachite for a bit. Going to Gothite. Gothite, again, there's Daniel Smith Gothite, Roman Small Gothite. Have your pick. They are very similar, and it really depends on your preference. And as for the Quin Gold P049, this is the genuine pigment, but I still stand by what I said in my Quin Gold comparison video where I don't feel the need to be seeking out for the P049, the genuine one, because personally I feel like the Hue versions are fine as they are, for me at least. But like I said, I do understand why some people, if they had the chance, they would have stocked up on this because it is one of those, you know, quinacridone pigments are pretty special in that they're very bright and vibrant and just glowy all in one, and it's pretty hard to replicate. Now, out of these five, I would say malachite has to be the most special because I've never seen something like this before. It's sort of like a, a yellow green that is light and granulating. So I'd say the opposite counterpart would be something like viridian, where it's a blue green that's low tinting and granulating. So out of these four, I think malachite is the most special because you can't really get that with any other pigments in any other brands. But if anyone knows sort of like a dupe for malachite, then do let us know down below. That would be really helpful. However, if you are looking to get some of these special colors, then I really, really recommend this Prodigal Sons pigments. I, I don't know if I should call them a brand or a company, so I'm sorry about that, but I could really recommend them because it's so beautiful. Like from the experience of re-wetting the paint, laying them down, how they behave, like these are just swatches and I'm, I'm already excited to paint with them, you know what I mean? And they've also got the granulation down, like, I'm just so amazed. Now, I haven't tried many handmade pigments or handmade watercolors, but I do have to say that I'm very impressed with this. Anyway, that's all I have to show for you today. As always, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Don't forget to drink lots of water and stay hydrated.